Hi, my name is Charles Seisler, and I'm chief of the Division of Sleep and Circadian Disorders here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. The mission of the Division of Sleep and Circadian Disorders is to foster excellence in patient care of individuals with sleep disorders, to advance sleep science, and to foster sleep health both for all the patients here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, for the community in which we live, and for the nation. Our team's philosophy of care is really to foster excellence in the treatment of patients with both sleep disorders and circadian rhythm disorders, and to provide patients with a full range of services, from initial screening, to diagnosis, uh, to treatment and follow-up care, because sleep disorders in general are chronic conditions that are lifelong. Our physicians have taken a leadership role in really the development of sleep disorders as a medical discipline. What makes our division special are the people who work here. We have really first-rate physicians who care for patients and who put patient care first, and we have research scientists who are at the cutting edge of research on development of new treatments for sleep and circadian disorders and for understanding the biology of sleep uh, and, and the impact of that knowledge on the treatment of patients. And we have a staff who are uh, committed to caring for patients and to providing the best possible treatments and follow-up for these disorders. The research in the Division of Sleep Medicine goes really from bench to bedside. So we have uh, basic research projects in, where, in which we're trying to understand the physiology, both in the brain and the body, that regulate and control the timing of circadian rhythms that regulate when we sleep and our ability to sleep, uh, as well as uh, basic physiologic mechanisms involving sleep and breathing, because one of the most common sleep disorders is obstructive sleep apnea, in which people have difficulty breathing and sleeping at the same time. So we have teams of scientists working to try to understand these conditions, and, and even uh, conditions such as night shift work, where people have difficulty sleeping during the daytime and uh, staying awake at night. Chronic sleep deficiency damages the body, leading to obesity, heart disease, stroke, cancer, and even premature death. Sleep deficiency also damages the brain, impairing learning and memory, and increasing the risk of ADHD, seizures and dementia, anxiety, depression, and suicide, and even causes one in five car crashes nationally. In fact, driving when you are sleep deprived induces an impairment that's equivalent to being legally drunk. Tragically, 80 to 85 percent of patients with sleep disorders remain undiagnosed and untreated. And it's really the goal of the Division of Sleep and Circadian Disorders through the Sleep Health Institute to bring that number down so that we identify more and more patients who have sleep disorders and get them the treatment that they so desperately need.